Chris Headless Professor video is an example of how to do archival research and I've chosen the simplest example. We're going to just look at one variable on a student roster and that variable is gender. Gender is very easily measured in most cases by looking at the student's name and classifying that student dichotomously into one of two categories, male or female, giving us that binary nominal scale of measurement. Our inferential statistics will be the binomial distribution because that is the appropriate significance test to use when a variable is measured in a binary nominal scale and our design is sample versus norms. In other words, we're going to compare the proportion of males in our sample to the proportion we would expect given what we find in the larger population. Okay, let's take a look at our archives. In this case, the archives would be the class roster for Psychology 101 Research Methods. I have 19 names of students for my beginning sample. I'm going to go through each name and I'm going to classify that name as probable male or probable female. And I'm going to um, put the males in blue and the females in pink. Here we go. Ryan, I think that's a male. Kayla, female. Dominic, male. Robert, male. Yannet, female. Katie, female. William, male. Aaron, well given that spelling I would say female. Ashley, female, Brianna, female, Kirsten, female, Nizreen, female, Richard, male, Nathaniel, male, Erica, female, Hannah, female, Amber, female, Abiba. I don't know. I think that's an Eritrean name, and I'm not familiar enough to say for certain that it's a female. So I'm going to not classify that name as male or female. Daisy, female. So I've had to remove one name from the beginning sample because I was not able to classify it. That gives me a new sample size of 18. And within that sample of 18, I was able to find six males and 12 females. Our next step would be to uh, calculate the um, descriptive statistics. And descriptive statistics for uh, a binary nominal scale would be percent. So I take the number of males, the part of the sample that's male, six, and I divide by the whole sample. 18 equals times 100. 33% of this sample is male. Now what about the females? I counted 12, that's the part that's female, divided by my whole sample, which is 18, times 100. That rounds up to 67%. Notice that uh, when we have a binary nominal scale, if you add the two categories, percents together, 67 and 33, you should get 100% the entire sample. So now I have my uh, count and my descriptive statistics. I'm going to have to look at my inferential statistics to test the hypothesis that uh, there's a low number of males in this uh, particular sample. So, 
I'm going to go to the binary um, nominal scale test, which is the binomial distribution. And I found six males out of 18 in my total sample size. And we're going to use 0.5 as the uh, expected proportion of males, given the fact that uh, males are half the population. And I go ahead and I calculate, and I'll get a two-tailed p-value. And, and here it is right there. The two-tailed p-value is 0.2379. Well, that's not going to be significant. I'd have to be less than 0 0.05 to be significant. Therefore, I cannot reject the null hypothesis. Now, that's what we found, assuming that we should find half of the sample male. In reality, we could use some other better numbers for the expected proportion of um, males. The Office of Research and Planning at Crafton says that males are only 48% of the uh, population of students at Crafton. Therefore, we would not expect to find that many males. And if you look specifically at um, psychology, students, it would be even less than that. Among students who took two or one or more courses uh, in uh, psychology at Crafton Hills Colleges, 66% were female. Wow, that's very close to what we found in this particular class, 67% female. So we cannot reject the null. It's possible that the proportion of males and females in this particular class, as indicated by the roster, is uh, very close to what we would expect given the population norms. Now the task is to write the abstract summarizing this research.